this weekend for the updates from the tournament. And we're going to get started. Meta versus Squeak on Final Destination. Now, Ganondorf, um, I don't really know how this matchup's going to go. Uh, I feel like Ganondorf should have some chain grabs on Meta Knight, some, some death mix-ups. But Meta Knight probably has the better offstage game. We'll see how that plays out in the matchup here with Final. The chain grab should definitely be possible, considering that there aren't really a platform to escape on. Right now, pretty even match as we move along. And Meta gets a very nice down smash, getting Squeak in the air, but not able to do much after that. Gets the fair arrow, nearly kills Squeak off of that early. Oh, and Squeak makes a tactical error there, unable to recover. Meta takes the early lead. Uh, but just like that, he's in big trouble. Can he recover? Squeak can roll up. He is just fine. And Squeak will even it out. Again, the offstage game coming into play for Meta Knight, no problem. Squeak trying to be a little extra patient there. It did not pay off for him. Meta, Meta trying to nail the lead with one move, almost did. And he'll get a side beat, a down smash. Excellent play so far. He does not have a jump, but just barely recovers with the side B. And Squeak gets back to the ground. Very, very important to have stage control here rather than just try to put pressure on him. That's a, that's a mistake that a lot of players can make. Uh, they just they see someone sitting there and they'll just attack them. Attack and not safely. They can attack right in front of their shield, get grabbed. And Squeak is much more patient than that. Oh, it just missed the down B. So far, really even game. Meta doing very, very well. Uh, missed, missed a fair good. I don't know if that was a beat by Sweet, but he missed. He was unable to capitalize. He's going to connect that one, though. It's an even game. Right now, Meta taking the early lead again. Nice, nice little chain text by by Squeak. But uh, Meta is able to get back up. The damage doesn't matter on Ganondorf. We've seen that time and time again. A little bit of an unsafe recovery by Meta, and that's going to cost him. He takes the forward smash in the face and unable to make it back afterwards. And now Squeak has started to establish his presence on stage. Nice tech by Meta, uh, but he jumped right into the forward smash trying to get a dare. If the dare connected, definitely would have been worth it, but unable to. And Squeak will win the first game on Final Destination. But a very good effort by Meta uh, starting off. We'll see what Evan uh, strikes the stages here for the ban list. Guys, by the way, if you have suggestions for uh, a, good, a new stage list that's not in the bottom two rows, uh, make sure to tweet me at the Tantalist what you think should be legal, shouldn't be legal. We are considering stage options for the Project Dim Showdown. So uh, I personally really like Norfair. I really like Norfair. I think that should be a legal stage. I definitely like to be more liberal with my stages. Because um, this game's new. We want to give it a chance, right? Like we gave we gave Hannibal a chance in Brawl for a while. So it's, I think it's fair. And we're going to go to Green Hill Zone. We have a lot of really good stages this game. Here's another one of them. I really like this stage. It's a, it's a great counter pick for certain matchups. And we'll see how well it works off. Squeak could opt in to go Diddy here. Not sure if he chose to for this stage matchup. But uh, right now, pretty even game as Meta and Squeak are about even. Right now, things looking good for Squeak, but he gets he gets good smash the eye of that down smash. Does not get hit by both hits of it. And uh, he's in good position. He has stage control. Played very, very well. And uh, right now, better start than the last match. And Diddy Kong paying off for him. A lot of people say Diddy Kong could be one of the best right off the bat. And we saw, we've seen Boss make excellent use of Diddy Kong here and smash Xanadu. Squeak with that, Squeak loves to dare, if, and and that's not even a pun. Like he just literally loves to dare, and there it is. He dares Ganon right off stage. That is one of his favorite moves with Meta Knight. Is he'll he'll jump and jump and jump until you move, and then hit, he'll get the dare, and that starts his combos. And likewise with Diddy Kong, he is able to start combos, 
and uh, he is putting the pain on. So if Diddy be looking the right, it was the right choice here. And Squeak looking very, very good. Let's see if Meta can mount any bit of a comeback. He does have Diddy in kill range, but... Oh, he went for the Ganon kick, and Squeak went for a spike, could not get it. Squeak uh, looking for the disrespect option. He's not going to get it right there, but he's doing... He's just... Oh, and he reads the roll, and that's going to be the end of the game. A solid four stock by Squeak. Very, very well played. Uh, did we have the Sonic Heroes song? Shout outs to Sonic Heroes. Shout outs to Sonic Heroes. That is, that is the best thing that happened to that game. Pretty, pretty sure that was the Smash 4 trailer song too for Sonic's uh, debut. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but pretty sure they used the Sonic Heroes theme for uh, Sonic's intro.